So once you've logged into Canvas, you'll see a list of your courses. Click on it. This will bring you to the main page of the course. This has a list of upcoming assignments that are due. In addition, it has a description of the course. It also has your initial tasks you need to work on. You need to read the syllabus. You need to review the information in Module 1. And you need to complete all Module 1 assignments by Tuesday, June 20th at 5 p.m. Please note that if you do not submit assignments by that first due date, you're going to be dropped from the course. Okay. In addition, I was mentioning you can double check your email address. So it has instructions here for how to do that. Third, you need to make sure that you have a new textbook from the bookstore, or if you've bought an um, ebook, you can do that. The syllabus talks about how to access that, and you can purchase those right from inside this course. If you're using a used textbook, you're going to need to buy the Inquisitive software program for about $20. Um, again, the link is here in the course page. That will allow you to complete the online homework assignments. You'll also see a list of all announcements that are coming up. Um, the review of the syllabus and all the assignments. So this has all the assignments and the due dates for the entire course. So you can sort of see what things are coming due. Again, almost all assignments except for module one will be due Thursdays at five o'clock. You'll have access to them from the previous Thursday at five o'clock until the due date. So the assignments that are due for um, uh, these modules are due on the 29th. You'll have access to them by the 22nd of June at 5 o'clock. In addition, there is a syllabus. I've spent a lot of time crafting this syllabus for you to review. You see it has a description of the course. Please note that there is a prerequisite that you've taken or that you're eligible for English 1A. Then, there are four major things I want you to get from this course. I want you to understand major concepts, theoretical perspectives, research methodology, and the history of psychology. I'm going to test how well you're doing achieving that outcome by looking at your scores on homework assignments and exams. I'm also going to look at your ability to integrate um, and critically think about new information and evaluate evidence, um, what we sometimes call information competency. The way I'm going to assess you on this is by looking at your discussion board assignments where you have to read multiple sources of information and then come up with a reflection assignment. And lastly, you'll do, the sim you'll do a similar project for the final um, in this course. Third, psychology really does integrate a lot of diverse perspectives, whether it's about research, theory, or application, about things like gender, gender identity, culture, ethnicity, age, or disability status. Um, so we will look at those on various discussion board assignments. Lastly, of course, all the things that we learn in this course, you should be able to apply to your own life. And again, by using self-reflection exercises and your responses on discussion boards, I'll see how you're doing on this last learning outcome. This has information with how to contact me. Please note that for um, the majority of the course, my partner and I are going to be in Europe because his company is moving him there for the summer. So that means that I'm about nine hours time difference from Pacific Standard Time. So this next page has my email address and information about how to contact me through email. So please make sure you include your full name. It's not always in the email that you send me, your course number and the course section, and be as detailed as possible about what you need from me. Please contact me frequently. The more you email me and tell me what's going on with you, the more help I can be. And please do it sooner. If you find that you're starting to struggle, that the amount of information and the assignments for this course are too rapid considering other courses you're taking, personal things going on in your life, or um, work that you have going on, please email me ahead of time and say, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to complete this assignment. We can try to figure out, okay? Now, I don't normally accept late assignments, but we can sort of talk about, okay, if you miss this assignment, how many points is it worth and what's the impact on your grade, okay? For most assignments, missing a single assignment is not detrimental to your grade except for the final project, okay? But if you email me ahead of time rather than after the assignment was due, I can be of more assistance. Please also note my uh, partner's company is moving him to to Denmark over the summer. So we're actually going to be living in Europe for most of the course, which means that after about the first week, my response time is going to be unusual. You'll see things if you're on the Pacific coast, you're going to see things at a different time. Um, I may be responding in the middle of the night for your time. Um, please note that all assignment times, due dates, are all set to Pacific Standard Time. Okay. 
You do need to make sure you have this textbook. I've even got a picture here to help you and the ISBN. I realize it's somewhat expensive, but the textbook and the access code or the registration code that it comes with are critical. So if you buy the loose leaf textbook from the bookstore for $101, that includes everything you need in this course. You don't need anything else, okay? If you're gonna buy the ebook, that's only $65. That does also include everything you need for the course. If you're going to rent the book, you're going to need to buy the Inquisitive Electronic Homework for $20. Here's Canvas login instructions. Here's lots of information about how to do well. As I mentioned, this course is going to move really quickly, and some of the homework assignments require that you log in and work on them multiple times over a week. So you can't just bust this out in an hour in one afternoon. My, estimate, my estimation is it's going to take you about two to three hours to read each chapter in the book. It's gonna take you about an hour to work on the homework mastery assignments. And then it's gonna take you about 45 minutes to an hour to work on each of the quizzes. So you're gonna be spending a significant amount of time each week working on those assignments. And we're covering about two chapters every week. So it's gonna move very quickly and you're gonna to need to be logging into the course multiple times. Please make sure that you're double checking due dates for assignments. There are some assignments that require that you log into Canvas daily. So you're gonna to need to have consistent internet access over this summer class. Please make sure that you work on the textbook. Read the chapter. It'll help you in completing the exams. Please put lots of time and energy into this course. My guess is it's gonna take you anywhere up to 15 to 20 hours a week. In addition, there are lots of other resources here. There's online tutoring, as I mentioned earlier. If you need academic counseling, if you need personal counseling, if you're a member of the Disability Resource Center or you've had access to disability resources in the past, please contact them so that I can make sure that I get you whatever you need. Please make sure that you've double checked um, when you need to withdraw from the course, if that's something as the date gets closer. Um, and then grades. Of course, we're all really... Um, concerned about how our grades are. So I want you to be really focused on those four learning outcomes that we talked about. Every assignment in here is built on helping you be successful in achieving those four learning outcomes. Okay. There are four major classes of assignments you're going to see in this course. There are these weekly mastery review assignments. So you're going to have one for every chapter. Um, they require that you log in. It's going to test you on concepts specifically from the reading. In addition, there's gonna be some discussion and reflection activities where you have to apply some things we're talking about in class to particular relevant issues, such as uh, drug use during pregnancy or um, homophobia. Third, there's gonna be exams on the reading material. I would encourage you to complete the discussion assignments and the weekly chapter reviews before you do the exam because those assignments will often help you to do well on the exams themselves. Lastly, there's a final project, which is our annotated bibliography. So again, this is a pretty significant project. You'll have two weeks to work on it. There's lots of details in the course when it gets, um, when you have uh, June, uh, July 13th is when it'll become available so you can start working on it. And here you can see the schedule of everything. This is by week. So you can see during the first week, you'll have module one, two, and three. So multiple modules every week. The first one is really just looking at the syllabus. You're gonna have a syllabus quiz. In the syllabus quiz, I'm gonna ask you 30 questions that test your understanding of the syllabus itself. So there's a getting to know you discussion and then there's a reading mastery assignment for this first unit you've gotta work on. Um, module two and module threes will both be due on Thursday. Again, there's a pretty standard format. There's a discussion or a homework assignment like the brain model assignment where you have to build a Play-Doh brain. Then there's the reading mastery assignments that will be in every chapter and then there's the chapter exam. Okay, and that pretty much follows throughout. Okay, the sleep journal. The sleep journal is one where you have to post, it's a private journal, so only you and I can see it. You have to document your sleep habits nightly for six nights. So you're gonna have to log in every single day to post your response. If you post everything one time at the very end of the week, you're gonna lose points on that assignment. Okay, um, so I'll let you scroll through that. You can see all the various assignments and the readings, what chapters we're gonna cover. And then as we get towards the end here in this last week, what you'll see is there's uh, chapter 13 and 14, um, a little bit smaller. There's a reading mastery assignment, there's a chapter exam, and then there's a discussion assignment, a reading mastery assignment, and a chapter exam, and then of course your final project. So most of your time is gonna be spent working on that.